Hi guys. You as a man are the ultimate arbiter of the level of staying power you have when it comes to staying on her mind. While you can impress a woman for a while with your looks and status and money, you need to bring your A game in order to dominate her mind. Follow these steps and she won't be able to understand why she can't get you off her mind. Number one, be unavailable. Don't make your world revolve around her. A woman wants to feel like that you have life going on. So don't always drop every single thing you have going on just to accommodate her. Once you start putting too many things on the back burner for her, this sends her a nonverbal message that she can potentially control you. Live your life and fit her in where she fits. Independence is extremely sexy. Your world doesn't revolve around her. You had a life before her, you'll have one during her and even one after her. Placing priority on the other aspects of your life makes it seem like she has something to work for, which keeps you in the forefront of her mind. Number two, spend high quality time with her. Make sure that when you actually do spend time with her, you're spending high quality time. What is high quality time? High quality time is time spent together that double downs on whatever her particular love language is. This will vary from woman to woman, so you have to pay attention to what quality time means for her. Some women may view quality time as a night in, and some, some women may view quality time as going out for dinner and drinks. It just all depends, but usually in all scenarios, time for quality time for a woman usually entails complete undivided attention, no matter what the environment is. These events will only be memorable for her if she enjoys them, so it's imperative that you make sure that you're providing her with quality memories. Number three, double down on what's important to her. You can use this for good or bad, so what you wanna do with it, you decide it's up to you. Find out what she places high importance on and focus on that. For instance, if she has a deep emotional connection to a particular place, take her there for a date. If she has a particular thing that she's always wanted to do, be the first to introduce her to that. Here's a bonus tip. Try to do these events at places that are close to places like her home. Why? Because once she starts equating past meaningful memories, places, and events with you, every time she drives past those particular places, every time a friend brings up these places or she sees, you know, certain commercials, the first thought will be of you and what you created there together. The more she, the more she's repeatedly exposed to these places on a daily continuous basis, the more you will stay on her mind without you even trying. Number four, be a great listener. I know it's very stereotypical, but it's 100% true that women love to talk. They love to engage in conversation and express themselves because it's emotional intimacy for them. It's like foreplay. So men who are able to listen and have engaging conversations will always stay on a woman's mind. How do you have a great conversation? You become a great listener and ask open-ended questions without expecting any kind of specific response. And when she does answer, delve deeper into her answers. When someone feels that they can express themselves openly, it builds trust. And the truth is, is that most people don't trust people. So if it feels like she can trust you, you've already set yourself apart from the crowd. Number five, don't trip off of her. Women will throw various tests your way from ghosting to smart remarks to test how much disrespect you'll allow to actually full on gaslighting you. They're different tactics, but the desired end result for her is still the same. She wants a reaction out of you. So how do you pass these tests? Well, if she's ghosting you, you let her go and you ghost her back. If she's gaslighting or disrespecting you, you check it at the very first sign and let her know that you're too grown for these type of games. And if she does want to play these games, she can find another man to play them with. Never let gaslighting or disrespect slide. Number six, exude confidence. Whatever you do, do it with confidence. Whatever you stand for, stand on it unapologetically. Women are used to men wanting to be with them so bad that they don't stand firm on their wants, needs, and be beliefs and desires. Whatever you state, don't waver from it. Even if you think it won't go over too well, don't walk with your head held down. Walk like a man of purpose. Communication is mostly nonverbal. So what does your body language say about you? Does it say that you're confident or self-conscious? Here's a psychological tip for you guys. Don't talk with your hands covering the front of your body because it symbolizes that you're in defense mode. Talk with your hands open and away from your body, which symbolizes confidence and comfortability with your surroundings. A confident man is a wanted man because confidence in and of itself is magnetic and intriguing. Number seven is stay mysterious. Women like men who they don't quite have figured out yet. Women like mysterious men because it's a challenge. So you need to maintain a level of mystery about yourself. If a woman knows every single thing about you, she will lose interest. 
You need to keep her intrigued. Let her keep guessing about you, your personality, your work, your life, etc. While it's important to be very clear and honest, it's equally as important to maintain your frame and not reveal too much. Reveal just enough to keep her guessing and keep her mind wandering. Breadcrumbing little things about yourself will keep her attention and it'll keep her wanting more. The more mysterious she finds you, the more intrigued she will be and the more you will inevitably stay on her mind. So with that being said, until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.